Hey guys and welcome to another video. Just after I updated my PC with Windows 11, I ran into a strange issue while trying to play Valorant. As soon as I would launch Valorant, the game would exit with the message This build of Valorant requires CPM version 2.0 and secure boot enabled in order to play, followed by an error code VAN1067, leaving you with the only option to quit the game. Fixing this issue requires you to go into the BIOS and this looks quite different on each PC. Please be careful when playing around with the BIOS options as you could potentially render your PC unbootable or even lead to a complete data loss. Also, please do write down any values you might change in BIOS so that you know how to revert back to them in case of trouble. Here is how I fix the problem. First of all, restart your computer. While it's restarting, access the BIOS. This is usually done by continuously pressing F2 or delete button. These shortcuts might be different on your PC, you can also try F10, F12 or F1 buttons. Once the BIOS appears, I switch it to the advanced mode by pressing F7 in my case. This is valid for Asus PCs. In my case, TPM 2.0 was already active since I needed it for my Windows 11 installation. However, Secure Boot apparently was not. This option can be usually found under Boot Options or Security tab. In my case, I needed to change it from Custom to Standard but most of the time the option just needs to be enabled. Additionally, in my particular case, I also needed to specify that the installed OS is an UEFI compatible one. As you can see, I have a separate option for that. If that's not your case, check any other setting that allows you to specify a Windows UEFI boot. Once you have enabled secure boot option in BIOS, save the changes and reset your computer. When Windows boots up, let's do a final check that everything is okay. Press the Windows and R buttons together, then type in the box msinfo32. In the window that opens up, look up on the right side BIOS mode, it should say UFI, and further down Secure Boot State should say ON. If that's the case, Valorant should run without any troubles. As a side note, I don't know what happens for the Windows 11 users that try to force the installation of Windows 11 while using a TPM 1.2. It could be that Valorant on Windows 11 enforces the usage of TPM 2.0, potentially leaving you with the only option of reverting back to Windows 10. I haven't checked that because I don't have a system with TPM 1.2, but just to keep in mind, if this doesn't work and it's still requiring you TPM 2.0 to be active, it could be because of that. This is it guys, I hope you find it useful. If it still doesn't work in your case, leave a comment down below with your PC model and I'll try to help you out. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. Have fun!